hey, how you doing? Thanks for coming back for another episode. Today, we're gonna see if we can power my parents' 30-foot trailer on 600 watts of Sun Gold solar panels using a Max Oak power station. That's what the video's about. We'll see you there. <laughs> So I don't really need to be driving up there. It's right there. But I love driving my Jeep. It's more fun this way, right? We need to do a little bit of Jeeping. So let's head on out and I'll show you where we're at. Today we've got the Max Oak AC240 and the AC200 that we're going to be testing. Figured we'd just bring them both. The AC200 is a newer one with the wireless charging on top, and the AC240 uh, was the predecessor. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. AC1. So we just gonna plug her in. Oh yeah, we need the adapter there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do you have anything on in the trailer? This thing's a touch screen, which is cool. Beep, beep. So now let's see if this does it all. Just kidding, that's a 40 watt. <laughs> all right, let's go get the 100 watts. So it's drawing like 220 watts right now, just charging the house battery of the camper. So we're gonna let it charge up. We got one panel there, one panel there. Each of those boxes has two panels in it. So we got some work to do. Let's get them out. So I first tested these Sun Gold solar panels at King of the Hammers this year. Um, if you remember that, we had two of these bad boys and that was pretty much all we needed to power uh, everything but the fridge in the camper. That was because we had just plugged the camper directly in to the power station. One thing I do want to let you know as to why this is not at all the most efficient way to be using the solar panels. So when the sun hits the panel, it comes in as DC from the panel. It goes into the power station as DC. So the best, most efficient thing to do is power as many things as you can off 12 volt DC. But when we turn that inverter on and we plug the camper in, now we're losing efficiency because we have to run the inverter to convert from DC to AC. Not only that, once the power enters the trailer, uh, in order to actually charge the trailer battery, it's got to go back to 12 volt. Um, as well as to power anything that's 12 volt in the trailer. So it is not the most efficient way to be doing this at all. Um, I just wanna give you guys a disclaimer there. It is the easiest though, because we literally are just plugging things in and turning them on. So on these, we're gonna be using these MC4 adapters. I'll link these below. You can get these on Amazon. You can get them to go from one to two, three, four, in this case, six solar panels. So let's plug these in. Yeah, I don't see how we're gonna be able to plug all these in, but I don't know, I guess we'll just start plugging them in. This is looking crazy. <laughs> okay, let's get this one in here. Luckily, we got this massive extension, <laughs> so this will help. This is some crazy wiring here, but it's got to be done. That's kind of the thing. If you're going to wire up this many panels, might be good to just have extra plugs. Yeah, it's just kind of hard to plan. Again, this is just a mock-up too. We're obviously not going to leave all these panels just sitting here. It's a straight up puzzle. There we go. You hear that click on them? Last panel plugging it in. All right, panels are plugged in. Let's 
Okay, so we're drawing 200 watts right now, about 205. Turn on that electric fridge. See how much that draws. Is it AC or DC? The fridge? Yeah. AC. That's probably better in this case. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Went from 200 to 450. 250 watts it draws. That's a lot. That's a lot. All right, well, we got three of them plugged in. Thanks, Mama, for holding them for me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. It only like three of them with that connector. So we're bringing in about, and about 180 watts off of those 300 watts of panels, which makes sense. It's a cloudy day, and it's actually a little bit smoky, too. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit bummed that we didn't get all the 600 watts of panels in. But the benefit is, I think all we actually need is 300 watts. The fridge pulls 250 watts uh, if we're running on electric. So that's a no-go, unless we had like a thousand watts of solar maybe. But with the battery off in the front of the trailer, um, it's only pulling like 50 watts right now. And in just the 300 watts we're getting in the panel, so 300 watts is probably enough to run this whole trailer as far as the water pump, lights, uh, the fan for the fridge, and just any other little smaller electrical stuff. So good news, the Sun Gold solar panels are killing it. And what this means is that we can run 300, maybe 400 watts up here and bring at least two or 300 watts down to the A-liner, split this all up. Um, I didn't think it was gonna be that efficient, so that's definitely a win. So these are monocrystalline panels, which are more efficient than polycrystalline, which you might see out there. Um, and they're really durable. They have this nice aluminum frame to them. And then they've even got holes there, so you could really flush mount these on the on a roof or something like that. Nice little controller box with the wires all coming out, as you can see. So we learned something today. You don't want to plug in multiple panels into one of these. And that's kind of what we had to do because we didn't have enough wiring. But uh, yeah, it didn't quite work out. But as you can see, see-through. It's a thin panel itself, so it is really lightweight overall. Like I said, I first tested these uh, Sun Gold solar panels at King of the Hammers. I brought two along with me and they're really durable. I kind of bashed them around a little bit and they still worked great. I am stoked to get these permanently mounted either on the roof of the trailer um, or somewhere because when you have six separate 100 watt panels, well, we could really aim them. Um, I, I kind of want to aim them to where like the sun will hit different ones at different times uh, because any solar panel is a little bit sensitive if it's got if it's like half shadowed or something like that it's not going to pull any wattage in um, so you got to be weary of that but i think that's one advantage of having six separate 100 watt panels is that you could really lay them out ideally to get the most sunlight the disadvantage is what we've seen here today that you need a lot of plugs and wiring to make it all work sure is nice to have these blue eddies on this test here today it's actually got a little bit chilly as we get the cold front from Colorado, um, snowing in Colorado these last few days, which is crazy. Last night was a little bit chilly, so I'm thinking tonight you could run the heater, Dad. Well, thanks so much for watching our solar panel test on this 30-foot trailer. Comment below, let me know what you think. Uh, look in the description below if you want to check out these Sun Gold solar panels. I'll have those all linked up. Super awesome panels. They do exactly what you need them to do. Take that light from the sun, turn it into that DC power for you. So hit the like if you enjoyed the video. Really, the only question is, are you down to mob Sun Gold Solar Panels off the grid? Yeah.